Time for the post-practice water break presented by Crown Royal. J.P. Shadrick with running back James Robinson cleared to go week one against Washington. It's been a long process. Take us through that moment when it happened late last year, through that rehab process. What was the most difficult, a challenging part of that, maybe mentally, to get through? Uh, probably like right after surgery. I was just like, I couldn't do anything. Uh, showering was hard, and I mean, I was just like in the bed like all day and not able to do anything at all. I mean, I would come here and do treat, like do treatment, but it was really just I was still in the cast and stuff, so I still couldn't do anything. I was doing stuff with my right leg, just keeping it strong. But um, yeah, I think that was the hardest part, just me laying around for like three months and not being able to do anything. Yeah, I mean, you can only do so much physically. So what do you do? Do you watch Netflix, TV? I mean, what, how do you kill time? Um. I get Netflix, I mean, me <laughs> just playing games, I guess. I mean, I was kind of just getting, I was already bored, but I didn't know what to do with myself, just sit later and look at the ceiling, I guess. <laughs> I was, I mean, the only thing I did was watch TV, like you said, and was in the training room, so. You finally got back out there, though. Well, once you're out there running again, I think you had told me a little earlier in the off season, that's when you realized, okay, I can actually move around and do some things now. But you have to balance that out. You don't want to push it too hard and go over the top, but you still want to get some work done. Um, how did they keep you on track just day to day and not let you go a little too far ahead? Um, just like we the little trackers that we got in our uh, jerseys and stuff like that. Uh, they kind of try to keep my yards up with the other guys. I mean, I wasn't up there obviously at the beginning, but um, they tried to limit how, mu how much I do day by day and stuff like that. And, just seeing how I feel coming in the next day. And if I felt good, then we were good to move on. But if I felt a little soreness or something like that, then they weren't doing it. But I didn't feel any soreness. Like, it was, we're, they were surprised too. But I mean, not feeling any soreness. So we were able to move on. Take us through the athletic training staff that helped you through this. I know you're in that training room a lot. There's a lot of people behind the scenes that don't get a lot of accolades, but you were, you worked with those people almost every single day in this off season. I know they mean the world to you. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I mean, I think I was really working. At, I was working with everyone, but I think Robbie uh, Hohenfeld, he's I've been with him since it happened, and I mean, he just we just he's been working with me. I mean, when I uh, first started running again, he was running uh, tempos with me. So I mean, yeah, they're great in there and. I just appreciate them for getting me back. Finally, your expectations for Sunday. It's week one, you're full go. What's this offense going to look like on Sunday against Washington? Uh, when we're clicking, we're explosive. So, I mean, hope for uh, some explosive plays. Thanks for the time. Good luck to you, man. Glad to see you back. Appreciate it. That's James Robinson. This is the post-practice water break presented by Crown Royal. Stay hydrated, stay royal, and please drink responsibly.